And now the dramatic conclusion of the Gypsy Dropout. Brunhilde, is it you? Rudolph, is it you? I asked you first. <laughs> All right, what are you doing here, Rudolph? The name is Ignatz. Ignatz Pripachok. I'm the gypsy Frank Sinatra. <laughs> you were warned to keep away from the palace. There's a new day dawning in Schnitzelvania, a day of liberty and freedom for all. That sounds like revolutionary talk. I am the leader of a new political movement dedicated to the overthrow of this decadent monarchy and the establishment of a gypsy republic. We call ourselves the New Gypsy Party. The New Gypsy Party? Yes, the NGP. <laughs> From now on, this country will be ruled by a gypsy junta. That's Hunter. All right, by a hipsy hunter. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Break out the gypsy flag! <laughs> Sylvania! Yeah! Friends, Romanies, countrymen! <laughs> this time you have gone too far. Treason can only mean one thing, the firing squad. Guards, take them away. Seize him. Long live the freedom-loving peoples of Schnitzelvania! Oh, Rudolph! The name is Ignaz. <laughs> stop! 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 Just a moment. Oh. Who dares to interrupt the punishment of a common gypsy? He is no common gypsy. He is the king. What are you saying? He is no common gypsy. He is the king. <laughs> what about the story? What story? The story about the exchanging of the babies. 20 years ago, when the heir to the throne was born, it was a girl. A girl. A girl. <laughs> And the king wanted a male heir, so he exchanged the little baby princess for a little gypsy baby boy. Now, that baby boy was Rudolph, and Brunhilde was the little girl. That's a ridiculous story. <laughs> ridiculous? You're the one that told it to us. Why, why did you make up such a, such a weird story? I'll tell you the truth. A drink. <laughs> So, you are really the king. You mean I had my ear pierced for nothing? <laughs> Esterhazy, the crown. Yes, sir. Guards, get this gypsy broad out of here. <laughs> Moving the fat? Yeah. You're out. <laughs> Ingrid the fat? Yeah. You're in. <laughs> Long live the king! Long live the king! Just a moment, my friends. I do not want to be your king! What? 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 No, I have discovered something new. It's called participatory democracy. And that's what I want to bring to this land. And so, I hereby abdicate the throne of my forefathers and declare this land the dominion of Schnitzelvania, where all men are equal, nobles and gypsies, poets, peasants, and the leaders are chosen not by birth, but by democratic election, where different parties representing different points of view are formed. And then we have a federal government, and everybody participates, everybody by paying taxes. <laughs> and then we have a provincial government, and everybody participates in the provincial government by paying taxes. <laughs> and then we have a municipal government. And everybody participates by paying taxes. <laughs> I'll check it out the hell with it. Give me the crown. <laughs> Page 64. <laughs> Pennsylvania, smaller than Newfoundland. Hail Schnitzelvania, this is the day. You're doing fine, Schnitzelvania, Schnitzelvania.
This production is dedicated to those thousands of brave men and women who have given their lives in Viennese operettas.